Hi friends, it's JJ and this is another Travel Tuesday with JJ. As you can see by the title of the video, we are going to Cabo San Lucas or the whole area known as Cabo. <laughs> For its all its Instagram worthy destinations, many couples and groups set their sights on the top things to do in Cabo St. Lucas. Cabo St. Lucas is one of two parts that make up Los Cabos, a destination at the tip of the Baja Peninsula. That also includes the resort area of San Jose del Cabo. Perch at the convergence of the Pacific Ocean and the Sea of Cortez, this small stretch of Mexico's beaches is known for hosting a plethora of five-star resorts, fresh seafood, whale watching opportunities, and other tropical adventures. In Los Cabos, it's a paradise where the Sea of Cortez meets the Pacific Ocean. There's something to do for everyone as far as fishing, golfing, scuba diving, snorkeling, kayaking, horseback riding, also relaxing in luxury spas and resorts and dancing until dawn. So in this video, stay tuned for the 10 amazing things that you can do in Cabo. And as I mentioned in all of my videos, please, please, please check the requirements before traveling to Cabo, Mexico. Now let's jump right in to the video. Number one on the list is by far one of the most unique things that I have found, but it's very fun that you can do in Cabo. It is the Cabo Camel Encounter and Safari Ride. There are various companies that offer this and most people wouldn't think of booking a ride on a camel in Cabo. But the Baja Desert is the perfect place to explore from the hump of a friendly camel and also enjoy an authentic Mexican meal while you bask in the idyllic weather of Cabo. Number two on the list is Land's End, also known as El Arco. Located at the southern end of Cabo and sandwiched between Playa del Amor and Playa del Divorcio, these rock formations were created from the rough winds and seas of the southern Baja Peninsula. Sea lions frequent the area, especially along Los Friales rock formation, and Land's End remains excellent for couples looking for a romantic spot to see the sunset. The best way to see it is from one of the water taxis or boat tours. Some even offer glass bottom boats or even glass bottom kayaking. So you can check out the sea life as well. Number three is while you're visiting Land's End, play on Playa del Amor and Playa del Divorcio. If you know a lick of Spanish, then you might be able to guess the name of one of the top rated beaches in Cabo. Near Land's End and the south of the downtown area, this shoreline is one of the busiest. So set your alarm early to scope out the scene. In addition to this ideal beautiful spot to celebrate the next chapter of your relationship, this beach location offers a special geographical experience too. There are two sides with two bodies of water, one on the Sea of Cortez and the other in the Pacific Ocean. Once you cross over to the ocean side, you're on the divorce side. You can hike between the two, and trust me, you'll know when you're on lover's land and when you're in the middle of a marriage fallout. How so? The Sea of Cortez has relatively calm waters, much like the start of a new love affair. While the Pacific side, oh, it has big swells and dangerous waters for swimming, much like a breakup. So it's worth it to explore both but plan your vacation mostly around Playa del Amor. 
since, hey, depending on the season, you might see sea lions bathing on the rocks or plenty of tropical fish in the blue clear water. Number four on the list is whale watching. With several species of whales making their way to the area every year, whale watching is extremely popular in Cabo. Between the months of October through March, you can see these amazing, magnificent creatures. The Baja Peninsula happens to attract the sea's largest creatures because of its position on the map and the many lagoons that are scattered around the area. When whales are in their migration period of the year, tourism tends to flourish, making it a more expensive time to visit. Although, from January to March, it is a little bit more affordable and you are offered the chance to see more of the baby whales. There are a number of tour companies specializing in whale watching adventures. Number five on the list is San Jose del Cabo. San Jose del Cabo is Cabo San Lucas's more elegant twin sister. <laughs> Separated by the corridor and situated just south of the airport, the city is commonly known as the Old Town, exuding traditional Mexican charm while also impressing with its luxurious new resorts. If you're seeking respite from the party land streets of Cabo, take a ride out to San Jose where you can stroll around a lovely plaza, tour a beautiful church, feast on the sea's bounty or shop till you drop. Take some time to check out the town square known as Plaza Mijares, sorry for the pronunciation, <laughs> which contains the town's mission church and town hall, along with several restaurants and charming shops. If you'd like to hit the beach, the nearby Playa Palmilia and Playa Santa Maria offer excellent waters and wildlife for swimmers and snorkelers. Number six on the list, Santa Maria Beach. If you prefer your beach experiences to be less crowded, then you may want to consider skipping Playa del Mor and its counterpart and set up shop at Santa Maria Beach. It's a bit further away, but worth the drive if you enjoy a secluded shoreline over a busy one. Because it's protected marine sanctuary, you'll not only enjoy the R&R, &R, but you'll have the chance to see many harmless and colorful species of fish in the water. You can take advantage of the robust sea life and rent snorkels for an afternoon peeking below the surface of the water. Number seven on the list is the Marina Cabo San Luis. Is any beach town complete without a trip to the local marina? I think not. The marina is super accessible from plenty of the top tier resorts. So grab your travel buddies and spend the day browsing through the shops and snacking at local national chain eateries, all while admiring the view. In the harbor, you'll count endless yachts and find yourself sampling every type of ethnic cuisine imaginable and scoring great deals on swimsuits, souvenirs, and more. If you forgot something at home, forget about it. Just restock at the marina. Stop by the Puerto Paraiso Mall if you're on a budget or Luxury Avenue for a splurge-worthy beach bag or pair of sunnies. If you plan on booking one of the many aquatic adventures in Cabo San Lucas, most cruises and ship depart from this marina.
Our number eight spot goes to taking a day trip to Todos Santos. If you're an art lover, there's no better day trip than Todos Santos. It's a bit of a contrast from the beach life. Since the Sierra de la Laguna mountain range is tucked behind the area, but it features its beauty in a different way. The town is most famously known for the original Hotel California, for which the song by the Eagles was written. You can stay at this iconic destination for a night or two, or just visit, making your way through the cafes and other attractions. If you have an eye for fine art, you will enjoy browsing countless galleries and visiting the Professor Nestor Agundes Martinez Cultural Center, which offers a bit of history immersion. Todos Santos is still considered a hidden gem with small beaches and local experiences, so you might not battle too many tourists as you explore. Number nine on the list, I can't talk about Cabo without talking about the all-inclusive resorts. Some vacations are full of hopping on and then hopping off tour buses to see the countless must-see attractions, while others are about focusing on Zen. If you're looking for the latter, when visiting Cabo St. Lucas, consider booking an all-inclusive resort experience for your getaway. This area is home to plenty of luxury resort brands that you'll recognize. I've popped up the top three on the screen and I've also put a link in the description where you can find all-inclusive options. Last but not least on this list, golfing in Cabo is a different experience. Three of Golf Digest's world's 100 greatest golf courses are located in Los Cabos. If you've got a golf course bucket list, it would be easy to cross off three in one location. Even if you're a golf newbie, you'll earn considerable bragging rights to say you've set foot on these greens. The courses that currently rank are the Diamante Dunes course, the Cabo del Sol Ocean Course and the Querencia. Sorry for the pronunciation. <laughs> Diamante, located in Cabo St. Lucas, is Mexico's first true lynx and was designed by Davis Love III. It is beloved for its set of white dunes as well as its cacti decor, which is rare to see on the lynx course. Cabo del Sol is a Jack Nicholas creation and opened in 1994 with his vision to design a Mexico style pebble beach. Finally, Querencia is a Tom Fazio brainchild, which opened in 2000 and is marked by views of the Sea of Cortez, a desert plateau, and a plunging canyon on the par 3-8. The last golf course is a private course, but Cabo del Sol is open to the public. To access Diamante, several high-end resorts have preferred tea times. Yay, you made it to the end of the video. Now you know what time it is. If you've made it to the end of the video, do not forget to post or comment down below the Mexican flag. Mexico is one of my favorite destinations and I am super excited that I have done this video. And if there's anything that I miss, and I know there may be a few things, please do not forget to comment down below. It helps more than you know and I greatly appreciate it. I also want to thank all of my new subbies that are here. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. If you are not a part of the family, it helps more than you know as well. This channel is developing and I have so much good content in store for you guys. Subscribe, 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 guys. So 
I can continue making these videos for you. It's so much fun and I love traveling with you guys every single Tuesday. Well, again, like I say in all of my videos, have a wonderful, amazing time in Cabo. Be safe out there. Make sure to check the entry requirements. And until next time, bye.